Hey guys, it's Jeff with OSXDaily.com. I'm going to show you how to create symbolic links to save space. Now, if you have a solid state drive in your iMac like I do, then this can be very imperative, especially if you use that solid state drive as just a boot drive. Maybe it's a smaller drive. Mine is pretty small. Let me just actually show you how big this drive is here. I'm going to do a get info on this particular drive. Here's my SSD and this is the boot drive. You can see the space there. Its capacity is 120 gigabytes and its availability they're about 62 gigabytes free. So not much space there but it's adequate enough for a boot drive and for a startup drive. Now let's look at the hard disk drive that I have here. It's quite a bit bigger as you'll see here. The uh, capacity is about a terabyte and I have about 600 gigabytes or 700 gigabytes of space ready to go there. So it would be nice if I could actually put most of the storage files on that hard disk drive and keep my solid state drive as free as possible. That's where symbolic links can come in and be extremely helpful. I'm going to show you how you can use that, how you can wield symbolic links to save you a lot of space on your solid state boot drive. Now to accomplish this feat, I'm going to use a service called Symbolic Linker, and I'm going to show you where you can download that in the description of the video. But here is Symbolic Linker. It is a service that you're going to use. All these other things you don't really need. You can look at the instructions. But if you're on any of the modern OS X varieties like Lion or Snow Leopard, then it's pretty easy to follow. All you need to do is follow these instructions here. First of all, open up the library folder on the root of the disk where OS X is installed. And then you want to scroll down until you see services. Now, if you don't have a services folder, it's no big deal. Just create a services folder. It'll probably ask you for your password before you're able to do so. Once you have created the services folder, just go ahead and open it up. You see I already have it there. Just drag the symbolic linker.service file over to the services folder. Once it's there, just double click on it to execute the service and that'll start up the service for you. That's all you have to do to get this working. Now to verify that it's working, right click and go down to services and then you should see make a symbolic link. If you don't have that, it's probably just in the main menu. You won't have this sub menu if you don't have a lot of these services on your, on your uh, computer running. So make sure you have make symbolic link somewhere there at the bottom when you right click. Now once we have that completed, Here's the fun part, actually determining what you're going to move over from the solid state drive to the hard disk drive. And we're going to do that by means of Daisy Disk. Daisy Disk is an application that allows you to really get a visual look and feel at your hard drive and see how much space you have left here. So I'm going to use that in order to do so, but you don't have to use this. You can use any other tool that you have at your disposal. I just prefer Daisy Disk. Now you see all these different directories, applications, you want to leave applications where they are because that's really the point of a, a solid state drive, a solid state boot drive. It helps you load up your applications fast. But I've identified one particular folder that I can move over, Apple Loops, and that's 1.9 gigabytes. So I can save approximately two gigabytes of space by relocating the Apple Loops folder over to my hard disk drive. So let's do a Git info and let's just verify how much space this is taking up. That's 1.89 gigabytes. Okay, so let's open up a new finder window and open up a folder on our hard disk drive here. I'm opening up my music folder. And what I'm gonna do is just literally drag over the Apple Loops folder over to my hard disk drive. And you'll see it copying over right now. That's 1.89 gigabytes copying over to the hard disk drive, a music folder on my hard disk drive. Once it's copied over, I just like to verify what's in the folder, make sure the contents are all there. And then I'll just do another git info just to verify the space, make sure it matches the 1.89 gigabytes it does. Now we can go ahead and delete the Apple Loops folder on our solid state drive, the boot drive. So let's just delete that. It'll ask for the password. It's deleted. Now we can head back over. Let's create our symbolic link. So right click, go to services and then make symbolic link and then just click open there and then you'll see the Apple Loops sim link. So there's our symbolic link. Let's drag that over to our audio folder on our solid state drive and let's put our password back in there and it'll copy that over. Next, let's rename the Apple Loops sim link folder to just Apple Loops. It'll ask for your administrator password again. Just put that in and there it is. There is our symbolic link to the Apple Loops folder on our hard disk drive. Now, once we've copied it over, you can just delete the sim link folder on the hard disk drive. Keep the Apple Loops folder there, of course. And then you should see the symbolic link and that'll open up directly to the hard disk drive. You can actually open that up and right click on there if you like to just to get a feel for where it is. So let's do a get info and you can see that's actually pointing to the hard disk drive. Even though it's showing up 
on the solid state drive. It's just a symbolic link that points to this data on the hard disk drive. So that saves us some significant space, uh, about two gigabytes of space. Let's go ahead and just do another scan and let's see how much space we saved here. And just do the scan here. Okay, instead of 56.8 gigabytes used, now only 55.6 gigabytes of use. So a pretty significant amount of savings for a small solid state drive. So that is how you use Symbolic Links to save some space on your solid state boot drive. If you want the download link to Symbolic Linker, check the description of the video and also be sure to visit osxdaily.com. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with osxdaily.com.